again with the real friends. Today, I will be sharing to you the essence of contentment and happiness. I work six days a week and considered as a strenuous one, especially spending longer time in front of a computer. To ease the stress I am dealing with my work, I see to it that after my online classes, I keep time to visit these wonderful things around me, like talking and watering my plants and breathing like not using any gadgets and by just enjoying the nature surrounds me. Having a small talk with my niece and nephew helps a lot. I only want a simple life yet I smell a lot with the things I have. Having contentment in life makes us feel the happiness we always wanted and vice versa. Contentment promotes happiness. It is simply gratitude, appreciation, and acceptance for the way things are right now. Most of us have been taught to believe that happiness is linked to our accomplishments. The truth is that we can create a feeling of happiness right now regardless of our circumstances. But what happens when life doesn't always go as planned or it is unfair? I also have my own struggles from my work, family, and of course, at my age, I still don't have a family of my own. But instead of thinking too much about it, I focused in positive things in my life and coping was much easier. Gratefulness is an excellent tool for coping when we find ourselves in a less ideal situation. Like these plants, bring feelings of vitality and improve the state of mind. Plants bring a positive outlook on life and boast people into feeling of alive and active. They make our lives brighter. They are more than just decorations. We also derive joy in seeing smiles on the faces of others whom we have helped or to whom we have shown some kindness. We feel the sense of satisfaction knowing that we have done our very best each day. Let us cultivate the habit of thanking God for everything we have. We can actually increase our happiness. Plenty of things you can get started right now. Live life with the right conscience. It is also important to surround yourself with people who motivate you. One must ask yourself about this. Do you work to live or do you live to work? It's important to live for what makes you happy. If you wish to feel the essence of contentment, it is important to practice gratitude. The more thankful you are in the present, the happier you live.